final stop on the tour and I'm up in Aberdeenshire. It seems to me the thing about photography is that it's all about seeing things your way. Then again, maybe it's just about having the imagination to see things differently. So let your imagination run wild. The sky's the limit, especially up here. No, you're flying a kite. <laughs> no, no, I'm taking photographs aided by a kite. Oh, okay. This is um, aerial photography. That, I presume, is the camera dangling. A dangle, dangle. That bit there is the camera, and I'm hoping to take some nice photographs of this uh, castle here. Yeah, you've got it really high up, nice haven't you? Nice and steady. On a day like this, I've got to keep a real good eye on what the kite's doing. Oh, we nearly lost the camera. It, it won't hit the ground because all you do is bring the line in and it'll just keep hanging there Taking just for a, a minute. Taking a photo of some grass. Yeah, it is at the moment. Well, let's have a look at it while it's down here. Yeah. We've got a, a good quality 35mm compact. Um, that's got a nice lens on the front and a good high shutter speed because you need a sharp shot, you need a fast film and then I use all this fancy radio control gear. And when you press it, that bit comes down and presses the That's right, the so if I do that now, <laughs> that's I'm taking a picture of my uh, arm. <laughs> 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 and you really don't need all that. You can, If you can work out a way of pressing a button while the camera's up in the air, you don't need fancy equipment. Yeah. You could do it with a clothes peg and a bit of string and uh, a piece of ice melting perhaps, you know, an elastic band. <laughs> that is really <laughs> really <laughs> obvious. Oh, it's so there we go. Giraffe. I do like letting it go out low and then seeing if the kite will take it off. Give it a 50 feet of line there, I guess. Oh, oh that's brilliant, lever. right up. Just, that's, that's my favourite moment. I like to uh, project your mind up to where the camera is and then see what uh, actually comes out on the print. One. Yeah, of course. Okay, tell me when. Yeah, controller. Tilting? Yeah. To turn, tilt, to turn, vertical. that's a good position. Okay. And go for it. Oh. Yeah, what do you reckon? Uh, well, I'm afraid I hadn't got quite into that kind of eye. You, you Imagine the not photo. Done a, you've I've not had... projected the mind up there, did you? No, uh, I didn't. Should I try and put one more project? Time. I can't imagine what it's like inside the middle of that. It, well, you will know soon enough. Yeah, that's what's Here we go. Try okay. about now. Okay. That's go it, isn't it? it? Yeah. Oh, I've just taken lots. <gasps> 24 pictures. Oh, so sorry. I took about six <laughs> photos all at one go. I bet you, I bet you didn't. Well, I, uh, I did visualise, but then I kind of over-visualised. You over-visualised and got, and got, <laughs> and got over you got in, you, Oh, you're on the line. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Wave. It's moving too much. <laughs> I'm not tall enough. <laughs> There's something about this not actually looking through the viewfinder. Yeah, you, know, you, you, you can't. Oh yeah, I've got, got a video system that. Hang down, so you could. But that creates a different sort of photograph because you compose every every shot, and therefore you you're limiting yourself by by trying to be compositionally accurate. Whereas some of the best shots come with that little bit of serendipity. Yeah. You know, it's that sort of approach. And what do you think about when you're doing this? Oh, all sorts of things. At a location like this, I'm trying to get a feeling for the atmosphere of the place, so I kind of think about, you know, what it might have looked like hundreds of years ago. And taking photographs kind of draws you into the uh, atmosphere of a place. The cab was swinging around They're like it's, mad, though. It's over the castle. We know now, if I take a picture, that that'll be a vertical view looking straight down on the grass-covered okay. roof of the vault. Let's see if we can get up on onto the corner of the uh, onto the corner of the castle i just have to wait my moment and as you can see now the camera's coming just where i want it so and the kite's I'll doing just as you take wish. a picture now you see oh that's brilliant that's weird that's, weird. that's the roof 
So that's 50 feet above the ground, and that's the press. Well, I hope you've been inspired to enter the year one competition.